This has got to be one of the biggest and easiest zero tick farms for Minecraft Bedrock 1.19 and 1.20. This farm will generate over 5,000 kelp per hour, which will be composted down into bone meal, giving you a whopping 42 bone meal in just two minutes. This tutorial will be easy to follow, but do make sure you pay attention as we will be dealing with Minecraft chunk borders. The items you will need for today's build are 154 blocks of your choice, 20 hoppers and 20 composters. However, there is another version where you can use 10 hoppers and 2 composters that will be at the end of the video. 24 redstone, 20 sticky pistons, 20 pistons, 2 chest, 1 repeater, 10 kelp, 2 signs, 5 redstone torches, 20 sand, 6 ladders, 1 lever, and 20 glass panes. Start by finding the chunk center of your build. If you don't know how to find the middle of a chunk, you can use ChunkBot, a Discord bot I developed for console, mobile, and Windows 10. The link will be in the description, or you can watch my chunk tutorial, which will also be in the description. Once you find the chunk center, place a block like this. To the right of that block, place five more blocks like that. And to the left, place four more blocks. All right, now that you define the area for this build, let's get started. All right, I hope everyone's excited to build this massive kelp farm. Let's do it. To the left, we're going to place six blocks going up. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And just so you guys know, it's diagonal out just like that. So it's not right there. It's like this. So this is six blocks high. We'll scaffold across. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. How fast can you guys do it? I'm pretty slow. We'll come all the way down here. We'll place two, three, four, five, and six. So you got six going up on the right, six going up on the left, and you connect it across. We'll take our chest and we'll place them like this. So one and two to connect it into a double chest. We'll take the hoppers and we're going to place one right here going into it. You can test this hopper, place the uh, item into that hopper, and there it is. We'll then extend this by nine in total of ten hoppers. So one, two three four five six seven eight and for this last one you'll have to come right here and place for nine so you have ten hoppers going all the way across and we can test this one as well it should go boom 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 all the way and wait for it i'm telling you it's coming there it is awesome all right let's continue for this next part pay super close attention this is really super hard i'm just kidding so here we go place a composter there 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 all the way across we're just doing the chicken dance at this point as we <laughs> shift all the way across like that you're gonna place 10 composters from left to right on top of those composters we'll take a hopper and we'll place them down just like this so hopper going down hopper going down 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 shorty go low 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 literally right so <laughs> 10 hoppers all the way across you have 10 composters all the way across all right we're gonna come behind the build now and we're going to place two right here. So one and two. And then a third one like that. So you have three blocks coming out. So one, two, and three. We'll do the same thing on the right side as well. One, two, and three. And then we'll bring this all the way across. So just like this. Then what we'll do is we'll come on the inside of our build here. And we'll place our sticky pistons all the way across just like that. So you have ten sticky pistons going all the way across. You'll place three blocks here. And then another three blocks here. We'll do the same thing on the right three blocks here and another three blocks here we can then wrap this all the way around bringing it across for another 10 blocks just like this now you're probably wondering how the heck do i get out of here you could just break these two blocks for now and then place them like that all right so on the side here we're gonna place a block there a block there and a block there making this weird mickey mouse shape i like to call it then we'll take the repeater and we'll put the repeater there We'll take the redstone torch and put it there and a redstone dust there to make a clock so remember peter on top redstone torch on the left and redstone on the right okay we'll then take our lever and we'll flick that down hopefully everything makes sense we'll extend all of our redstone all the way behind just like that we'll then take our stone bricks and place them here it's slightly below the pistons so this is the sticky piston slightly below then we'll extend the redstone all the way across so here's that and you're going to hear all of them activate, so that's a good thing. We'll then put a block here. We'll place a redstone torch there. Place a redstone torch there. We'll come all the way up on top just like this. And we'll place a block here. And then we don't want to put a redstone dust here, so leave this blank. We'll put a redstone torch there. We'll jump up and kind of do that. Whoa, whoa. That kind of action. <laughs> we'll place a block there. A block like that. So this is how everything should look like so far. You have your 10 sticky pistons, your 10 redstone dust all the way across. Then you go up three diagonal, one, two, and three. And then you have your redstone torches 
just like that. Hopefully that makes sense. And then two blocks up there with nothing on them right now. All right, let's stop and pause so you don't get lost for a second. Here's some different perspectives, so double check you got everything correct. Now, believe it or not, we are almost done. So we're going to come to the left side of our build and we're going to place three ladders just like this. One, two, and three. We're going to climb up these ladders and then on top of the extended sticky pistons, we'll place 10 sand just like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now, one block lower of the sand you just placed, you're going to place another row of 10 sand and it's on the edge of the sticky pistons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. We'll drag this out by another 10 blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right. So now what we're going to do is place nine blocks on each side, just like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We'll do the same thing on this side. One, two, three, oh, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Then what you want to do is place a row of 10 blocks right here. One, two, three, four five six seven eight nine and ten again you're, you're then gonna take your pistons all the way across like this so all these should be ten blocks and then just cover it up like that so here we oh here we go so you have your row of ten blocks on top of those you have ten pistons and then on top of those you have your blocks we can then fix the ceiling just like this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten leaving this part open completely you can then take your glass panes and place them on top of the hoppers just like this. And then you'll just want to seal this all the way up. So all the way, oh, all the way across without opening the hoppers. So you'll have to shift. And this part's a little bit annoying, but once it's done, it's done. So bring it all the way across and, oh, it just disappeared. You guys saw that, right? <laughs> there was a ghost. So you have all your glass like that. And once you finish placing all of your glass, we're going to come to the left side of our build and we're going to finish placing our ladders. So one, two, and three for a total of six ladders because we placed three earlier. To the back of our build here, we'll do the same thing we did on the bottom. We'll place 10 blocks across. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. We'll use our ladders to come to the top of our build here and we'll place a redstone torch on top of this block. So place a redstone torch there and then take your redstone dust and extend it all the way across like so. All right, then what you'll want to do is come to the back of this container portion right here, and you're going to take 10 water buckets and place it like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and place your last water bucket right there. You'll then take your kelp and you stretch it all the way across like so, just like this. And it's fine if you double stack, it doesn't matter. Then on the inside of your container, you'll take a sign, you'll place one there. Then you'll come to the left side as well and place a sign there. So you have a sign on both sides. All right, your build is now complete, so congratulations. But before I let you go, let me give you some more information. When this lever is down, you are safe to log out of your world or walk away as far as you want. Now when this lever is up, your machine will turn on. And as you can see, a bunch of kelp will start producing. Now there's one thing you got to know. When that lever is up, you do not want to log out of your world. And you do not want to walk away from this build. Otherwise, your sand right there and all your kelp will break. And you do not want that because you'll then have to go back into your build and place everything again. So let me flick that down just so I can actually hear myself talking. And from just a couple of seconds of keeping that lever on, we already have a bunch of bone mail, which is just insane. One issue you might have with your container is sometimes kelp will spawn out and it will look like this. This isn't a big issue because out of the hour I tested this farm, only about four kelp did that. So if you do want to fix this, if it's like a you thing and you don't like when kelp does that, it's not a big issue at all. But if you don't like it, all you have to do is place trap doors on the top like this. Don't place them here, otherwise you'll limit the amount of kelp you get because of the way it's growing up. Okay, the only other issue you're going to have with this farm is right here. You can see under the extended pistons. If you have any blocks like this or even like that, it's going to break the entire farm. So do not put blocks under these extended pistons and don't break these blocks. Okay, I've seen a lot of people do that. Do not break these blocks. If you do or have any of these blocks broken, your farm might break. And it's a very high possibility if you put a block there, it's definitely going to break, okay? Now, I did say in the beginning of this video, you could use less composters and hoppers, and this is how you would do that. This is perfect for an early game player, but if you have all the resources, I would recommend you just build the normal version because with this version, your kelp might get overloaded in the hoppers and you'll get bone meal a little bit slower. All right, that is all the information I have for you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also, join the Discord server if you want to be a part of an everlasting many community. And as always, bye bye
Let's go. Yeah. I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a